how is public key encryption used in authentication we know that protocols like the tls protocol use public key encryption to authenticate the server and the client then it uses symmetric key encryption to encrypt the actual messages in this video we will discuss how public key encryption is used in authentication let's say alice wants to send an encrypted message to bob alice can use symmetric key encryption but in that case alice would need to pre-share the secret symmetric key with bob and that can be inconvenient at times so alice can use public key encryption instead alice can encrypt the message using the public key of bob and send it across bob can decrypt the encrypted message using his private key as the private key of bob is secret to bob alone no one other than bob can decrypt and read the message but how can bob ensure that alice indeed has sent the message the public key of bob is known to everyone so anyone can impersonate alice in this case and send bob a message so in order to ensure bob that alice indeed has sent the message Alice would need to authenticate herself with Bob. Similarly, if Bob wants to send an encrypted message to Alice and Alice wants to ensure that no one other than Bob has indeed sent the message, then Bob would need to authenticate himself with Alice. So, how can public key encryption be used to authenticate Alice and Bob to each other? Here is how it works. Alice can generate a random value and send it to Bob. Bob can encrypt it using his private key and send it to Alice. Now, Alice can decrypt the encrypted random value using the public key of Bob. Alice knows that Bob indeed has sent the message if the decrypted value matches the random value she sent to Bob. We know that Bob's private key is secret to Bob alone. Similarly, now Bob can send another random value to Alice. Alice can encrypt the random value using her private key and send it to Bob. Bob can decrypt the encrypted value using the public key of Alice. The private key of Alice is secret to Alice only. So, if the decrypted value matches with the random value that Bob sent to Alice, Bob can be ensured that Alice only is communicating from the other end. Please note that Alice and Bob will need to verify the public key of each other from the issuing certificate authority to ensure that the received public keys are authentic. So, this is how public key encryption can be used for authentication. I hope this helps. Interested viewers who want to know more, please refer to the book Cryptography and Public Key Infrastructure or visit the website of the security body. The relevant links are provided in the description. The security body also provides many cyber security courses. The relevant links are provided in the description. You can also subscribe to us and get notifications on recent videos.